Hello Kidlets, Mr. Flick here with MyTechBadges.com with the new badge iPad Photography Level 3 People Photography. All right, let's get right into it. You've been patient. You've been waiting. You've wanted this day for so long. You've put up with level one, learning about how to use the apps and the camera and all those things on your iPad. Then you went through level two and you did all the things about object photography. And then you're like, wait, I'm kind of getting to be a really good photographer. Eh. And then finally you're here, you're at level three, you're at the place you've been wanting to get to. And that is how to take great photographs of people. Okay, this is what it's all about. This badge is so important because it's going to make you money. No, I don't know. Maybe you're going to turn into a photographer someday and people will be paying you great money to take photos of their weddings, of their consumer customer shots and all these things like that. Anyhow, there's a whole world of photography out there, but it is so important. And we've talked about this before about the world is so visual. The internet is so visual, all these things. So knowing how to take great photos of people is gonna really change things, okay? Now, and then the people you're taking photos of, they're gonna really like it because they're like, wow, this looks so cool. I look so cool in this photo. This looks really good. And you can use it in so many different ways. I mean, field trips, class projects, all those things, people are everywhere. And if you can really get figured out how to take great photos of people, like, ooh, you've made it. All right, let's talk about the things that you need for this badge. Now, we're building on everything from the past, so of course you're gonna have the uh, Photo Toaster app from level three, and we're adding the Pixelmator app to this one here. It is another paid for app, but it is fantastic. It's one of the standard boilerplate, everybody is using it, who's anybody, on editing photographs. Okay, so that's the app you're gonna need. Uh, everything else, we just kinda use what's in place. Um, level four, we might need be talking about things like a lighting kit and those type of things. But really for this one, I think you're set with just uh, one more new app and you should be good to go. Okay, to earn this badge, of course, you're gonna go through the tutorials and you're going to learn the eight great poses that every photographer should know how to get their subjects to do. There are eight of them and everyone should know how to get their people to stand in a certain way or sit or do something that makes for a really a great style that complements everybody so that they look really great for your photographs and they will really appreciate it. So you're gonna do those. You're gonna do those tutorial photos. You're gonna edit them so that they look really nice. And then of course, you're, then you're going to do a classroom project for your teacher. And if you get all that done, boom, baby, you've got yourself a new badge for iPad photography level three. Okay, I've got the results in for the impressive scale. Here it is. Okay, so after thinking about it, talking to people, and well, I don't really ever talk to anybody. I just think about it. And here it is um, for grandmas. Yeah, five grandmas. Grandma's going to be so impressed. She's going to be like, wow, these photos are great. And you're just going to be like, yes, grandma, you can buy me a new pony now. So anyhow, five on the grandma scale. Uh, for the teacher or parent scale, I'm still stuck at four. And I know we've been stuck at four for the other levels, but you know, it's good. Four is good. And, and they're going to be impressed. And your teacher's probably like, yeah, you can take all the photos from the upcoming field trip, those type of things. So it's not bad. Four is not, it's not a five. Maybe in the next level we'll get up to a five, but it's, it's a four. It's a solid four. So don't, nothing to be embarrassed about. It's a solid four for the teacher scale. And then for your peer scale, we've been waiting to get up here. But your peer scale, I'm going five. Five fellow students. I mean, this is as high of a rating you can go because you're going to show them the photos you've taken of them and after you've edited them and make them all this, oh, this is going to be so good. And they're going to be like, you are now my new best friend. I want you to take photos of me always. No, I don't know what. But anyhow, they're going to be very impressed. And they might not even say it. They might just be like, hmm, because they're so stinking jealous that you can take these amazing photos on your iPad, okay? Now that does kind of get in the way. Maybe you've been wanting to get a really big expensive camera from mommy and daddy, I don't know. But this is gonna be really impressive to your friends. So I'm giving them five on the friend scale for the impressiveness. All right, there you have it. Don't wait any longer. Get right into the next video and check out the student examples. These are actual photos of fellow students taken by students just like you. 
I mean, they're not done by professionals. They don't have a big lighting kit, all these things. I mean, you're going to be like, whoa, look at these great photos. So dive right into it. I'll see you in lesson two. Thank you.